Now the game is going to need two numbers from you. And the first number is intensity. How intensely are we shaking this camera? And the second number is duration. How long, how many seconds do you want that to shake for? Now we're just dropping something quickly. So I think we're going to do um, 0 0.5 for intensity and 0 0.5 um, for duration as well. And now we'll check it out. Not too bad. We can certainly make that a little longer if we want to. There. Okay, so spawning an altar is uh, nice and all, but I want it to be more useful. So let's, let's put something on top of it. How about a key? So in order to do that, we need to actually spawn something on top of the altar. So we're spawning the altar and then we're spawning the key as well. So in order, in order to do that, we're just gonna, we can do this on two lines, but I think it's easier, it's neater anyway to do it on one. So we're just going to type add item, okay? And now we're going to follow the same format as we did to spawn the altar. We're going to spawn the iron key. So spawn, parentheses, iron key. And then we've got two parentheses open, so we need to close both of them. And let's see how that works. Oops. there's our iron key that we can use. Okay, now I want to show you how to destroy something and since we don't want to destroy that uh, nice altar that we have with the iron key, we're going to spawn a second altar. Actually, I can just... Uh, well, let's do it this way. We'll do spawn, altar, and we'll go or where do we want to go? We'll go here, 1515. Facing zero. Okay, and we'll take a look at that. Whoops, what did I do? I unfinished, oh, I forgot to, forgot to close my quotations. I do that all the time, there. Now when we press the button, two appear. Now we could also put a sound effect here um, next to this altar as well, but I don't think any player is really going to notice that. Now in order to destroy that altar, we need to give it a unique name so that we can call that name to tell the game to destroy it. So all we have to do here is just uh, call it um, whatever we want to. I'm just going to call it trash altar because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna trash it. So there, now the game knows that this is trash altar. So we're going to destroy it via another script, and we have to we have to call this from within the game. So again, we need another function name. Um, so we're going to call it trash alter remove, and then all we do, and this is literally it, is you type the name of whatever you gave that that entity. You're going to type that name colon destroy. That's it. Doesn't get any easier than that. And we're going to call it with a plate so we can watch it happen. And now we have to make sure that we only trigger it once, activate it once, because once the game removes Trash Alter, that name Trash Alter no, no longer exists, so if the player steps on it again, you're going to wind up crashing. So let's see what we got here. Nothing there. Press the button. There, we've got our altar with the key spawned. We've got our second altar. And when we step on this plate, there we go. That's it, guys, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.